Hello, I'm Bob Davies, CEO of FiberTech. Composite materials are replacing all things needing high strength and lightweight. The trend began with airplane design and quickly spread to sporting goods and recreation equipment and now automotive and mass transportation applications like trains and buses. Lower cost materials have encouraged the adoption in recent years, but the cost of fabricating complex parts rapidly is becoming a significant barrier to mass adoption in many applications. There is a tremendous need for materials and processes capable of breaking through this barrier. Only with innovative materials and processes will we be able to open the mass markets to high strength composite materials. In the next few minutes, I will introduce you to a truly innovative approach to using high strength thermoplastic composite materials as a solution for the low cost, rapid production of parts for volume markets. This is our patent pending carbon fiber sheet molding compound. We call it FiberFlex SMC. It is made using our patented thermoplastic prepreg called FiberFlex. And we can use 12K, 24K or 50K carbon fibers or even glass for that matter. And any engineering resin such as polypropylene, nylon, PPS. This is a typical FiberFlex tote rig. We described FiberFlex in another video, but for now it is important to know that it is this flexible tote rig that can be woven into fabrics. Next, I will describe how we make FiberFlex SMC and later show why it is a disruptive molding material and how it will solve the problems we discussed earlier. I mentioned earlier, we use our FiberFlex tote rig to make the SMC. Typically, it is woven into a biaxial fabric, but a unidirectional fabric can also be used. Using a tote rig of a 24K carbon fiber with polypropylene, having a 47 fiber volume fraction, the fabric would have an FAW of 252 grams per square meter. Next, an array of slits is cut into the fabric. They are arranged in a pattern determined by the designer to get the optimum fiber orientation. It should be noted that the off-angle slits the woven fabric version has allows the fabric to maintain its integrity and has an added benefit of increased flexibility when pre-consolidated in the mold. FiberFlex SMC is a low flow system. This means a mold charge would be cut closely to the mold perimeter. This reduces the distance the material must flow to fill the cavity but eliminates the need for precision preforms or excess materials extending beyond the parting lines. The flow distance is a useful tool for the designer when optimizing the part design. Contrast this to conventional SMC or BMCs in which a charge would have to travel a considerable distance to fill the mold. Or fiber preforms that extend beyond the parting line as such, such as those in a continuous fiber system. Now, why is this a big deal and how is FiberFlex SMC so different? Let's start with the easiest first. It uses melt processable thermoplastic resins. There are a lot of references to the advantages of thermoplastic resins versus thermosets on the internet. For now, consider they are tougher and readily recycled. Next, consider the advantages of a short flow system like having fiber orientation more predictable, making it possible to get laminate properties close to that of a continuous fiber laminate. With control of the material flow, the charge pattern can be defined in a way to maximize mechanical properties. Creating a uniform fiber direction with FiberFlex SMC can translate into improved strength. Also, the low flow method minimizes flow fronts and fiber bunching that are weak areas during the pressing cycle. Another key advantage of FiberFlex SMC is made possible by the FiberFlex woven fabric. The woven structure fixes the toes in two directions, 0 and 90 degrees. The slip pattern can be customized in a way to manipulate how long and free the fiber coupons are. This can be altered in different areas of the charge and from layer to layer. The slits are made at 45 degrees to the warped toes of the fabric. This allows the fabric to maintain a substantial amount of its integrity. The preform or charge shape 
and slit cutting are made rapidly on an automated computer controlled machine. The cut shapes are sorted and stacked in place using a robot. Oh, by the way, all of the equipment described above is commercial off the shelf, which reduces the capex needed to facilitate making FiberFlex SMC. Now let's look at the process of building a short flow SMC preform using FiberFlex. Here you can see a sheets cut with the slits, cut to size. Uh, some have a portion cut out to accommodate a feature in the tool. Also notice the length of the tool. The sidewalls and cavity are quite deep. Here we place the sheets in a specified orientation on top of each other. There's seven plies in that stack. And then the stack is placed on top of the tool for pressing uh, at a later operation. We have discussed the making of FiberFlex SMC and how to create a mold charge or preform. The next step is to mold the part. This process will require pressing in matched metal molds after heating the FiberFlex SMC preform above the resin melt temperature. Once the mold is closed, a cooling process is applied until the resin has cooled to a rigid state and the part can be ejected. Today, there are several commercial options for compression molding systems that include preheating preforms, rapid mold heating with induction heat, and robotic material handling. These systems can cycle parts with low mass in as little as 20 or 30 seconds. It can also take several minutes for very large high mass parts. From this short introductory video, it is clear that FiberFlex SMC is a unique and disruptive material. The slide on your screen recaps the key advantages of this system that we have discussed thus far. Thank you for your interest, and we look forward to discussing your applications in much greater detail 